What is up, Kratix? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles if I got a chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos to about late 2015. Now, this is the last car of the series. I have officially customized every car in the game. However, this is not the end of the series as there's still quite a few cars I have yet to recustomize that didn't have good commentary slash microphone quality before 2018. So as always guys, feel free to let me know down below in the comments what car from before 2018 you want to see me recustomize next, and I'll display the most likely vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So in today's video, we're going to be customizing the last OG car of the series, the Felon GT. Now I did customize the regular Felon variant about a year ago, however some of you guys wanted to see me customize this variant as well. So the Felon GT is an OG car that's been in the game since day one, however it was a removed website car with the recent Mercenaries update. But remember that you can still get it off the street for free, so it's not too bad. Now the Felon and Felon GT are in the Coupes class, and the Felon is a 4-door, while the GT variant is a 2-door convertible. Now, while the regular Felon has some decent visual customization, you know, hood, front bumper, side skirt, rear bumper, spoiler, exhaust, the Felon GT unfortunately does not have anything. So, kind of weird when it's basically the same car essentially. I'm not sure why Rockstar didn't just copy over most of the visual customization except for the side skirts, but I guess it just is what it is. Now, in regards to performance, the Felon GT is actually slower around a track than the regular four-door Felon. And the main reason for this is because the Felon GT doesn't offer a spoiler upgrade, which of course increases the traction stat. Plus, for some reason, Rockstar also gave the regular Felon a bit more power, so it's also a bit faster of a car in a straight line as well. So it's pretty ironic how the two-door GT variant is slower than the normal four-door variant. Pretty funny. So that makes the Felon GT an average performing vehicle in the Coupes class, while the normal Felon variant is substantially quicker. But anyways, in terms of what the Felon GT is based on, it's primarily based on the Maserati Gran Cabrio mixed with the Jaguar XF. So definitely an interesting combination there, but I think this is a fantastic looking car. One of my favorite OG street cars in terms of just visual styling. I think it's just a really, really good looking car. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Felon GT. Alright, Felon GT. So we got armor, brakes, engine, lights, do some xenons as always on most of these newer cars. Do a black Looking plate. Good. And since this thing has some Jag mixed in there, it's not just pure Maserati, I am going to put a uh, different plate on here. I think I'll just put my luxury plate on there. Respray. Um, so for this car, I mean, I was thinking of white, but hmm, I don't know. I want more of like a grayish blue kind of color. So I'm feeling more like a, a harbor blue don't with a pretty. diamond blue pro. I think it will look really good. I've used this color before, but I mean, I, I just I think it's a really good color combo when I'm looking for something like a grayish blue color. Look at that. And in direct sunlight, it really, really pops too. I think it's such a great color, especially on this car. So we'll do Fire that. Uh, Kremlin for this car goes in the hood. Okay. Suspension. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll definitely lower it, even though it doesn't really make that much of a difference there in right height, but. A transmission, turbo, wheels. Now, well, I do like the stock wheels. I think the chrome is a bit much, um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and change those up. And the design is fine, but I want something a bit different. I want something more clean. So we're gonna go to the street category and I'm gonna throw on my favorite wheels in the game, um, which I know some of you were like, you use that in every video. I don't, <laughs> I just, it's just a common wheel that I use, even though I haven't used it in a long time. But uh, Concave Mercies, I'm going to throw on here. So these right here. And I think it just works so well with the look of this car. Um, it's just a really good wheel design for it. So we'll do that. 
Now, I don't know what to do about the color. I mean, usually I'd go black, but this, this car is more classy, so I think black is just too, um, like, sports car looking for it, you know? So, I think we should go for, like, a stone silver or black steel, kind of like a dark gray. I think that looks really good there. Uh, windows will definitely black them out, and unfortunately, that's all the options there, so... Like I stated earlier, the, the regular felon actually has good visual customization. You know, hood, uh, front bumper, rear bumper, exhaust, spoiler, side skirts. You know, the typical, normal uh, visual customization um, that we see in a lot of cars in the game. But for some reason, Rockstar didn't just copy most of that over to the um, two-door GT variant. But it just is what it is. Um, and it doesn't get the spoiler upgrade, which means that the regular felon, the four-door, is actually quicker around a track in comparison to um, the uh, two-door GT variant. But anyways, let's exit to ground, take it for a drive here. Great-looking car. It's a shame, because it is a good-looking car. I mean, this thing with a spoiler upgrade, it would probably perform so much better. That color, my gosh. And I like the fact that in direct sunlight, you know, it looks like a nice normal you know gunmetal gray but then when you get into the shade you see like that blue i just it's just a really really good color i love this color combo very very nice first person here okay got this interior interesting we got the stitching from the exterior color then of course this being the felon gt it is a convertible so hold right on the d-pad and the convertible convertible top you know goes away there and it just glitches at the same time while it does that that's way <laughs> bit of texture issue there but floor it here wow very quick look such a good looking car too now this thing doesn't handle anywhere near wow I, I come on, made a sharp turn there this car doesn't handle anywhere near as good as like the Zion the Zion handles like an absolute beast this thing you know it handles okay you know decently well um but it's no like sports car even though the zion isn't a sports car but um it, it's things in the coupes class and i mean it's, it's decent for a coupes class car it's not terrible but it's more on the lines of like the sentinel xs and stuff like that it just needs that sport upgrade because when you reach that traction limit it just it just needs that little bit of extra traction this thing would have been a beast with that sport upgrade now definitely not at the top of the class but you know maybe like top three uh, you know most likely but that lack of the spoiler it just really really hurts it when you're you know you got that peak um traction limit but it's still a quick car regardless and a great great looking car especially since you can get this off the street for free i mean it's such a, such a, such a premium looking car i can't even speak it's a, such a premium looking car um you know that that normally costs before you know, a ton of money even though you've always been able to get it off the street for free but you know the fact that you, you can get a car off the street for free that looks this premium and nice i mean i think it's just a fantastic deal um, all right, let's open all the doors and stuff here. Let's go all. There's the engine model. Quite a long block there. <laughs> That's a uh, wow. We're just a long engine cover. Okay. There's the interior again. Hasn't really aged all that well, you know, but. Uh, yeah, and then they got the trunk. Little tiny trunk there, but you can see the convertible top in there. Let's... I think Rockstar had fixed that thing with a convertible tell you that it has to be closed, and then you could bring it up. But you could still open it while it's going up, and you can still, like, make it glitch and stuff. So if I do this... Oh, the trunk on this one doesn't really affect it. Ah, I see. So those, the, the, the trunk and that part is separate on this car. What if I do up? No, sorry, down. Yeah, the trunk isn't affected on this car. It's like a, it's a separate panel, and it doesn't touch it either. Look at that. It doesn't doesn't really hit it. I mean, a tiny bit, but barely anything. Okay. So in this car, you don't have some crazy glitching top when you're messing around with the trunk and stuff at the same time, which I guess is a, a good thing, I suppose. <laughs> Even though I like doing that with a car, I like messing around with a 
all the options. You can do that with the um, Cognoscenti Cabrio, and I think the Zion Cabrio does it too. But yeah, regardless, I think a great car for the money, you know? Well, what do you mean for the money? <laughs> a great car off the street free, because it barely costs you any money, you know? Even if you put the, if you pay for the insurance, it's still like only 11 k I think, something like that. So, you know, it's not bad. Not bad at all. But anyways, again, guys, definitely let me know down below in the comments what car you want to see me recustomize from, like, before 2018 um, that, you know, didn't have that great of microphone quality. I have done a lot of those videos already, you know, recustomizing cars where the microphone quality wasn't all that great. So I think that's definitely the best way to uh, continue the series because some of the videos I made back then, they just weren't all that great. The quality just wasn't there. Um, and also... A lot of those videos I recorded like day one of DLC like in the morning and I didn't really like prep myself that well you know I would record it like half asleep <laughs> like, after just waking up to re record the videos they just really weren't that great I I'm, wasn't happy with those videos so I definitely want to revisit uh, most of those to to redo them with you know better quality um, overall video so again guys thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one